Welcome for our call to worship this morning. I'm going to be reading Psalm 27. So Psalm 27 says this, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked came against me to eat up my flesh. We're going to talk about that today. My enemies and foes, they stumbled and fell. Though an army may encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war may rise against me, in this I will be confident. One thing I have desired of the Lord, that will I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion, in the secret place of his tabernacle, he shall hide me. He shall set me high upon a rock. And now my head shall be lifted up above my enemies all around me. Therefore, I will offer sacrifices of joy in his tabernacle. I will sing, yes, I will sing praises to the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice. Have mercy also upon me and answer me. When you said to me, seek my face, my heart said to you, your face, Lord, I will seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my help. Do not leave me nor forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father and mother forsake me, the Lord will take care of me. Teach me your way, O Lord, and lead me in a smooth path because of my enemies. Do not deliver me to the will of my adversaries, for false witnesses have risen against me, as such as breathe out violence. I would have lost heart unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Lord, this is part of what we're doing today. We're waiting upon you for a good word from you. We're pouring out our hearts to you. We're emptying the cup, Lord, so that you can fill it up to overflowing with that which is good and lovely and excellent and admirable and praiseworthy. We're so thankful, Lord, that we can come to you and take our stinking thinking and give it to you and have you renew our minds and lead us by your Spirit. Lord, what a wonder it is to worship you. And we choose to do that right now. For you are worthy. We pray this in Jesus' name. We all say, amen. Amen. Let's worship the Lord.
Be mad. 
We thank you for the precious beauty of who you are. We are grateful for the chance to join together with our brothers and sisters and worship you this morning. Father, I pray that you would help us to lay down all that we hold on to so that we can fully walk in all that you have made available to us. out the elements of communion. This is Communion Sunday, and then we'll all receive together after this song.
for a moment that you were Peter or James or John and Jesus had invited you into the garden. What did he ask you to do? Pray with him. Sorrowful, even to the point of death, Jesus said. I'm sorrowful for what's ahead. And if you were to put a hand on Jesus' shoulder, what would you have prayed for? As Jesus has told you what was awaiting him, what would you have prayed for? you have prayed for God to spare him from what was coming, to end this difficulty? Even Jesus himself prayed, if there's any other way, Lord, it wasn't sinful for him to pray that way. But he did also say, nevertheless, not my will be done, but your will be done. Knowing as an instrument of the Lord's righteousness, this difficulty, the severity of this difficulty may increase so that it might ultimately bring God glory. And it is a work of God's Holy Spirit to get our heart to a place where we would pray that, not just for someone else, but for ourselves. Courage, understanding the character of God, to say, Lord, your best. That's only what I want. I just want what's right. Not my will, your will. Use me, my life, to bring you glory. Lord, it's a scary thing to say this to you. And yet we know in glory, ultimately, we will understand and until then, sustain us with your grace and that sweet ministry of your Holy Spirit who empowers us and transforms us and renews us to walk this way. We could do this no other way than by your Spirit. We wholeheartedly admit this. So pour out your Holy Spirit upon us and lead us. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's receive communion together, acknowledging his body broken for us, his blood shed for us, and ultimately the resurrection to give us the receipt that he paid our price for us. Let's receive communion together.
may the Lord richly bless you as you continue to be his disciple and follow him with your whole heart. God bless you. Have a great evening.